Hello, everybody, and welcome to Chrono Super Awesome Amazing... What the hell did I call this thing? Oh, yeah, Chrono's exclusive must-see vlog. I'll totally get to explaining why I renamed it to such an idiotic name later on. But first things first, this was be my second vlog type thing, and it's my 70th video, meaning my first vlog was number 69, dude. Yeah, I know it's infantile, but that's... Yo, it's fun. I'll go with it. This will be my standard vlog type format. I jump from one topic to the next with no segues and no semblance of order. So basically just how I think. And it works pretty well for me so far. First things first, AdSense is pissing me off. In my first video I explained that I added ads just for the fun of it. So a little while ago, I started looking at, I wanted to look at AdSense itself, just to see what was going on there. So I poked at it, and it popped up and said, you must finish filling out your application. I'm like, oh, okay, they must have started it with Google, and I have to come here to finish it. Okay, that makes sense. That answers a few questions I had, like, how the f do they know how to, where to send the money to? So this thing asked for... Pretty much what I would expect it to ask for, your name, address, phone number, that kind of thing. And I filled it out, didn't see anything I didn't expect, um, didn't see where it was asking for like any website or anything, figured it was just going off of Google, and then I hit submit. And it popped up and said, you, it's like 7 to 10 days for a yes or a no. I'm like, well, that kind of sucks, but okay, I can imagine they probably get a lot of these requests. I figured you had to be invited into AdSense, but no, if anybody can submit requests, I can imagine it would take a long time for them to actually filter through them all. Well, like two hours later, I get an email from them saying, your request has been denied due to lack of content. And I'm like, lack of content? I have like 60 some odd videos in here. And I looked at the email and it said, uh, marlock.blog spot.com or what the hell was it blogger.com or whatever it was has been denied i'm like wait what no i wanted you to do my google thing my youtube thing where the hell did you get that blog that that's been done for years now i haven't even touched it for years i mean you didn't even use the good blog my subconscious ravings blog blog i keep calling it vlog blog that had like 5,000 freaking hits and it's still getting like 100 and some odd hits a day. And I have no idea where they're coming from. I haven't updated that in like a year either. But no, you picked the one that I haven't even looked at for like 2-3 years. That I started 4-5 or five years ago when I was playing World of Warcraft religiously. Yeah, it, w it was bad. I, I stopped. But, so, I'm like... Why the hell did you pick that one? That's You didn't even ask me what freaking website I wanted to look at. You just kind of assumed, I guess. That's stupid on your part. But they're like, oh, but you could resubmit. I'm like, okay, well, I'll resubmit and I'll put in the correct address. So I went to do that. But the Bar or marlocksdiaries.blogger.com was in text, not a text box. I couldn't change it. It wouldn't let me change it. So I'm like, but wait, no. No. How do I cancel this? How do I create new? How do I go back, do something, anything, edit, undo, something? But it wouldn't let me. It won't let me change anything on this application. So it's basically saying that I have to submit this blog or nothing. So I went poking around looking for AdSense help. Some kind of phone number I could call. Something, anything. But I couldn't find anything. The best I found was a forum kind of thing. I think it's called a group because it's Google, but it's a forum. And I, I could post my questions there, and they said the AdSense moderators view that forum. I'm like, okay, well, if that's the only option you're giving me, then I guess I'm stuck with it. So I went there, and I posted my questions. That was on Tuesday. That No, that was on Friday last week. It is now... Well, Tuesday, and I haven't heard a freaking thing about it. And I went back, look at it, 
seeing if there was something you know that was posted to it that just didn't get updated even though I told it to email me when I got updates. I can't find it now again. There are so many questions in that forum for AdSense that it's ridiculous. Apparently they need, well, apparently that's why they don't have a phone number. It's because they just get flooded every single day with every single question. Well, if you made AdSense comprehensive, it might help. Like, letting me change the freaking application. That would be nice. But I found a couple of other posters that had a similar problem. They were saying that the, they accidentally typed in the wrong address, or it popped up as the wrong address, and they can't change it. Well, the response and the solution to the problem was to resubmit it with the correct address. Well, what if you can't change the address? I don't know. Now I'm stuck. So I decided to remove my ads from Google. I figure if I can't physically possibly ever make money off of the ads, then Google can't either. I'm not going to risk my very few number of followers being pissed off if I can't have any positive gain from it. So now I have no ads on my videos. That will change if I can ever get this AdSense thing figured out or something, anything working. But so far, no. No more ads. Next topic, getting the views. Yes, so I'm sure you've seen it if you poked around YouTube a lot. There is a lot of crap on YouTube. And it's not like, oh, I just hate country kind of style crap. It's straight up crap. It's not personal opinion, it's just crap. But they have like thousands upon thousands of views and thousands of freaking subscribers and all that crap. And I'm like, how the hell do these people do that? How do they get all of these views and all of these subscribers? So I went poking around on the internet, I love you Google search, and found a couple of websites with a bunch of different suggestions. And they all said at the very, very beginning, quality is not necessarily required to get the views. I'm like, well, apparently these are the websites that I need to look at. These are the tips that I need to look at to figure out why the hell I'm not getting the views. Because the crap is getting the views. Now, I know mine's not grade A, triple A, you know, movie style quality here, but it's better than a lot of the stuff that I've been seeing. So I figured I'd try some of these tricks and maybe pull some of these views away from the actual crap to something worthwhile. And even if I don't qualify as grade A good quality, I can point you to grade A good quality. So just keep watching. I guarantee you I'll reference some really, really, really good videos. Not this video, but in future videos, I guarantee you I'll reference it. I've already referenced in quite a few previous videos, and I guarantee I'll reference in the future, because that's just what I do. I like sharing the good stuff. But these websites, they had a few suggestions. A couple I'll try. Like, renaming the video to include special words like exclusive and must-see and the poster's name. And it's supposed to have other titles like, you know, actually say what the video is, like Minecraft, but due to the terms of use in Minecraft, you can't put the Minecraft name at the beginning of your videos, and I'm just going to avoid it in general. I'm just going to avoid saying Minecraft in the title in general, even though I will give credit that these videos that I am using are Minecraft, and this one I'm actually using right now is a custom map called The Library which is really fun. And I'll see if I can remember to post a link to the library. I, I, I'm pretty sure I posted one in the previous video, so if it's not in this one, put it in the, uh, go to the next one, or go to the last one, I should say. It'll be in that one. <clears throat> but that's why this video is named as asininely stupid as Chrono's exclusive must-see vlog, is because I'm trying to cheat the system. Second tip that they gave me is a detailed script description, like two to three paragraphs of everything that's in the video. So I've been doing that. 
And the third trick, and this is I, this video will be the first one I try this trick with, is name the video file something relevant before uploading. Like I've just, I named the first one vlog one, and then I renamed the title after I upload it. Well, this one I'm going to name the full name, Chronos Exclusive Must See Vlog number two, and see what happens. Now there's quite a few tips that I won't try. I absolutely refuse to try. Like, did you know there's actually, like, friends in, in YouTube? They call them contacts. I have no idea what purpose they are. They're not, like, subscriptions or anything. I don't get updates from them. I, I have no idea how they work. But apparently you can add somebody to the contacts, and then they will get a message saying that they were added to somebody's contacts. Do you want to return the add of contact thing? And the way to do that is, or the way that's supposed to work is that they see that you added them as a contact, then they look at you and then subscribe. Well, the suggestion is to do that to 20 to 30 times a day for like a month, and you'll get a whole bunch of subscribers. Well, I'm not going to do that. I hate it when people do it to me, so I'm not going to do it to anybody else. That's, that is the definition of spam. And I'm not going to do it. I, I refuse to do it. And I, people have done it to me. I've had quite a few that have done it to me. They have added me as their contacts. And I don't. I never knew what the hell that meant. But I would look at their videos and I'm like, eh, it doesn't interest me. And then move along. So I have not added a single person to my subscription list that did that to me. The second tip that I will not try is... Post your videos as video replies to other videos. So basically, spam video replies. You find a popular video that's somewhat kind of related, and then post your video as a video reply. Yeah, not going to do that. Not unless it's absolutely relevant, like it's a direct response to said video. Hence the name, video reply. That I'll do, but I will not just randomly throw out my videos on other people's videos. That's just me and wrong and annoying i will also not spam my videos on other websites not unless it's relevant that's the important part in what i do relevance if it's a relevant thing i will comment about it i will post it on websites if it's not relevant i don't comment about it i just don't that's just the way i work i don't want my websites and my uh, comments all being flooded by random crap that has absolutely no relevance to what I'm talking about so I won't do it to other people but so far the things that I will try the the things that I did do in the vlog number one the renaming of it and the detailed description seem to work uh, yesterday I was looking at my numbers and it was like six today it's 26 so something happened so i'm going to keep trying it see what happens see how it goes and i guess you know if it works out i'll let you guys know and then you can use it for your videos uh, if you have videos or whatever or then if you can see the tricks that you know work and the tricks that other people do so you don't get fooled as easily i like that idea i like that idea a whole crap ton better Anyways, skipping over to the next target. The upgrade to Minecraft 1.3 is coming out August 1st. Let's see if it actually comes out August 1st, and if it does, we'll see how many more updates. So far, it's pretty good. I've been playing with the uh, Week 23 release. There's a few glitches, but from what I understand from like uh, like two releases back forward to August 1st, they will be working on bug fixes, not adding things. Which means that by August 1st, it should be pretty stable, which is Cool, which I think will actually be the first. But I've been, I'm, I'm still debating on wiping my server or not. Um, if I wipe the server... Well, let's start the other way. If I don't wipe the server, I lose out on emeralds, I lose out on the desert villages, I lose out on the desert and jungle temples. Well, the emeralds I can work with, because if I'm losing out on all of those, I may as well just leave it in creative mode. I mean, it's not really going to be entertaining if I leave it in survival, or if I switch it over to survival, but still have the same thing. 
So I may as well just leave it in creative mode. So the emeralds I can work with. The desert villages and the temples, I, I can't replicate. Well, okay, I could replicate it, but it wouldn't be nearly as cool as finding them on my own. But here's the problem. I've been trying to back up what I've created so far into MC Edit, so that way I could import it into a new world. But every time I try, it crashes MC Edit. Uh, I try to copy the entire city. I can't even select the entire city, it crashes. I have like, just, you know, X and Z. I have over 100,000 blocks, 100,000 square blocks. I can only imagine how many cubic blocks I'm using if I include the up. But it's it's a ridiculous, ridiculous number. Millions and millions of blocks that I've been trying to save. Not surprised that that crashes MC Edit. Mildly surprised it doesn't crash Minecraft in and of itself. But I guess it's used to that. So I try backing up just, say, one building. But my buildings... I build from ground level to sky level, to sky limit, and it, it just that crashes MC Edit. So that's kind of annoying. And I've tried again and again and again. I can get some things copied, but other things not. So it might be really, really entertaining on getting this city moved over. So I tried another trick. I found another map editor for Minecraft, but it doesn't give you a nice user or a nice visual like MC Edit does. It's file based. You see the files inside of the folders for the Minecraft map. And there is no way in hell I'm ever going to learn that. That is far too advanced for somebody like me. For the people that can do it, holy crap, you're amazing. I just can't do it. I don't know how, and I probably could never learn. I, I'm pretty good at knowing my limitations, and that's pretty much one of them. I'm not going to be able to do that. But then I found another thing. It's a bucket add-on. It's called World Edit, and it said it can export into files that MC Edit can use. I'm like, oh, that's awesome. That might be exactly what I'm looking for. So the first thing I try to do is just copy the entire city and see what happens. Well, I put the block, or I, I select part position 1, and then I go over to the other side of the city and select position 2, and then type in copy. And then I look at the file, and it's 1K in size. I'm like, there is no way in hell that entire city is just 1K. So then I thought about it for a little while, and I looked around, and I realized that... Point number one isn't being loaded when I'm looking at point number two. My city is too large. I cannot have the entire thing loaded at one point. So that's why that's not working. So I figured I'd start grabbing it in chunks. And I can't I can do that. That works. But the problem comes in pasting it. I started playing around with it just to see if it would work, see if it would work for what I needed. Pasting things is kind of difficult. It doesn't work on what block you're looking at. It works on relative location. So if you are standing one block away from what you're copying, you have to be standing away from, or one block away from exactly where you want that thing pasted. So it, that would be hard to get straight, especially if I'm trying to line up streets and stuff. That's going to be hard. So yeah, that's where I'm debating on rebuilding my map or not. If I rebuild the map, I have a good chance of losing my city. If I don't rebuild the map, I lose out on all the new stuff for 1.3. So it's it's... It's a debate. If anybody out there has any suggestions, some other type of map editing program that doesn't crash every time I try to select something large, let me know. I will be absolutely overjoyed and, yo, know, please. Please. Alright, uh, next thing. The Source Filmmaker came out today. 
Now, I keep saying today, I actually mean Tuesday the 10th. Uh, by the time this will be posted, it will be Wednesday the 11th. So, when I say today, I meant today as in the day I'm recording this. Anyways, the Source Filmmaker is out. What is that? Well, it, it, it's, it's like a 3D video maker kind of thing. You know, like uh, if you ever used Poser. But this is significantly better because you have like locations and it's easier to use. It actually reminds me of Adobe Premiere and how it's used. Basically, you can use the arrow keys to go backwards and forwards a frame and pretty much everything else. I have absolutely no idea how it works. Uh, seriously, I have no idea how this freaking thing works. I'm sure if I poked at it for long enough, I could figure it out. But I'm probably going to need to look up video like descriptions and, and tutorials on how to make it work. And that's going to be a little while for YouTube to catch up on that kind of thing. So a couple of days, I'll be able to do a Google search for Source Filmmaker and actually do and actually find this. But right now, it is Team Fortress 2. Basically, it's all the characters from Team Fortress 2 and all the locations from Team Fortress 2. And then you can take these characters, you can pose them, you can make them move, and you can make little videos. Like, uh, the, the Meet the Heavy is actually included in this. But if you see that, the Meet the Heavy, Meet the Spy, Meet the Pyro, they were all made in something shockingly similar to this. From what I understand from the website, uh, which is sourcefilmmaker.com, if you want to go there and download this thing. It's only like five and a half gig to download. But you do need a pretty, uh, a relatively mo modern PC, uh, Windows 7, four gig of RAM, recommended eight, uh, Core 2 Duo, uh, 64 bit recommended, that kind of thing. Uh, the full requirements are on the website. But uh, from reading it, they actually created this so they can make their little videos they use for advertisements. And then they decided to release it to the public. That is an awesome thing. Now, right now, it only does Team Fortress 2. But from the description on the website, it makes it sound like they're going to release more. Uh, like, uh, well, all I'm seeing is... Oh, and I don't even remember the name of that game. Uh, Left 4 Dead 2. That's the only one I'm seeing that I recognize. There are a couple other games in the little pictures here. But I don't recognize the games, not from this distance anyways. I would lay odds that Half-Life it will be on there, which will be amazing for the home community, for the home, like, comic community and stuff like that. Um, that's going to be amazing. Uh, now, you might see a few videos up for me playing with it, but I can almost guarantee you that they're going to just outright suck. Um, but I'm sure I'll keep playing with it just for the fun of it. You may have noticed, but I'm actually kind of exhausted. I worked on my dad's lawn today. Uh, he's like endlessly in conference calls all day, so he doesn't have time to do it himself. And my stepmom is just one person. So he asked me, since I seem to have all this free time, which I do, to come over and give her a hand in cleaning out the weeds and taking care of the beehive that started to form in their mailbox because the mailman was getting understandably upset about that. So first thing I do, I take care of the beehive. Luckily, my stepmom took some bug spray, some industrial-grade bug spray, and sprayed it all throughout the mailbox yesterday. So when I get there, everything's dead. Which is great because I have this horrible, horrible phobia of anything with more than four legs. So imagine how I feel with centipedes. Ugh. So all I had to do was pull out all the dead bee carcasses and then scrape the beehive off of their mailbox. Actually, I don't think it was bees. I think it was hornets. But either way, they're dead now. And the mailman should be happy. Yeah, the, the other things he asked me to do was take care of his weeds. Use the weed whacker and take care of the weeds that were in his yard. Uh, and then use the hedge trimmer to take care of this giant freaking bush that was threatening to just completely encompass their mailbox. So, started out with the weed whacker. They have this electric weed whacker, which has a hell of a lot more power than my electric weed whacker. 
but theirs actually requires an extension cord where mine has a battery. I started on these plants and god damn, they have the squishiest plants I have ever seen. When it, the weed whacker hits them, they like explode in a shower of green goo. I was cleaning my glasses for like 20 minutes after this was done. I was completely covered in green. It was horrifyingly bad. But it was fun. It was like the first real exercise I've gotten in like a month. Yeah, I need to get off my ass and actually do something. So, yeah. And then I got to play with the hedge clippers. That was a new experience with me. I've never, ever tried to trim hedges. I've got to do them on mine. Mine are getting bad, so... But I figured this, this one hedge he basically wanted to get rid of completely. So I figured I'd practice on that one if I did absolutely demolish it. Oh well, they wanted to get rid of it anyways. And then I could go do it on mine, which I don't want to get rid of because I don't know how. Well, it turns out I suck at hedge clipping, so I'm going to pretty much avoid that from now on. <laughs> oh yeah. But hey, I guess that pretty much ends vlog number two. I've been ranting on for over half an hour already. Oy. Anyways, um, I guess I'll see you guys in the next video. Uh, give me some suggestions on how I need to end these freaking things. Because I'm not good at it. I'll see you guys later.